boop. Very rare I forget about that. But never mind. Man, it's there we go. My nipples are like pencil erasers. Problem solved. See, now that I've got a dual monitor set up, whenever uh, I do make a mistake, I can quickly uh, get the problem solved, which is, oh boy, really, really handy dandy. Yeah, dual monitors are absolutely legit. Super handy for the streams. And whenever I play a game like Star Sand and I just want to like watch a video or listen to something in the background, that's always quite cozy. Proper cozy, mate. Oh, fuck. Hello. That's a bit cheeky. Putting all those enemies right behind me. Yeah, I can see you little orange bastards. Little orange bastards. Lovely. Fuck that off, just kind of using some backer on these boys. It's all said. But yeah, uh, what. All I know about the game advertisements is there's a Blade game by Arcane. A weird Hideo Kojima thing. And that's literally all I know about it thus far. But I would appreciate uh, any uh, any updates on what's been happening with that. Because if I was awake, I would have happily like watched it with the crew, with the gang, the crew, and all that. But I was just I was just too EP, just too EP. I couldn't handle it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably an unnecessary pick up shotguns, but hey who? Oh look, here's a development that is surprising to absolutely nobody. You know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> They're fucking everywhere, look at that. Hello. <laughs> Very good. Give you the short version. Space Marine 2 coming September 9th. Oh, that's too fucking far away. <laughs> but yeah, that sounds good. That sounds very good. About time we got a concrete date for that. Where did my fucking tissue for my nose go? Fuck. Oh, never mind. Oh, there we go. Sega announced new games for Jet Set Radio. Gold, uh, Crazy Taxi and Golden Axe? Holy shit. A new mana game. Twiles on mana. Me Matei, low. That sounds pretty good. And that multiplayer shoot with fully destructive environments came yesterday. What? What shooter is that? That doesn't ring a bell, unfortunately. Unless, is that the, that the finals? Uh, I don't know if it is the finals or not, I don't. Got to be honest, it's a game I don't really care about. If it, you know, if it is that, but, you know, I'm sure some people are into that. It's going south pretty quickly. Oh dear. The finals, okay, yeah, it was. I had a feeling it was. Because I, I, I saw some people, like, talk about it, but... That was kind of it. But I already, I honestly, I genuinely thought that was already out, if I'm being totally honest with you. Oh, hello. There's an enemy that's not normally in this game. I'm having some stuff I missed. 
You want to try it out just for the Geo mod, honestly? Looks like it could be some fun chaos. I'd be willing to give it a try if, uh, you know, if, if I went in with other people. Or, um, you know, and if the anti-cheat works. <laughs> that, that, that's the big one, man. That, that, that's the big if. But, otherwise I probably wouldn't play it much mind. So, we'll see. But I do like my destruction. That's one of the fun things I enjoyed about, uh, about, um, Battlefield Bad Company 2. That game had some bloody great destruction, that did. I loved it. So what mod is this? This is the Syrian Star Reworked. This is like a massive chunky campaign that someone made. Already done two streams of it, so now this is the final one. And probably the final one for the month, because we've pretty much almost gone through all the Serious Sam 4 content. Oh bloody hell, that doesn't even kill one hair. Fair enough. <laughs> Where are you going? But yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 getting game of the year. I... I was kind of... half expecting that, but also kind of half not expecting it. It's one of those things where it's like, it's one of those games that absolutely deserves it, but at the same time it felt like a game that would not get the credit it deserves. Because it is so... Unlike every other game you see nowadays, like, unlike a lot of AAA games, because, let's be honest, most of the awards is really just kind of a popularity pissing contest, which is kind of like, mostly just for triple, for the most popular AAAs. So that's kind of interesting. Ba Boom. But it's really nice that, like, indie games are kind of getting more, more credit that they, that they deserve. Because a lot of times they, they just don't get any. You know? Well, I'm pretty sure Baldur's Gate is considered an indie, isn't it? Like, it's pretty much independently, like... Develop, developed and funded as far as I know, so it, I'm pretty sure it does class as such. Even though it's got like a big license and all that, but that doesn't really like say if it's indie or not. It's amazingly enough only 17 gigs, it's all... Whoa! Hi! <laughs> it's almost like the developers, uh... Could be arse compressing their shit. Holy crap, that's actually incredible. It's kind of amazing how, like, file size alone nowadays can be, like, a huge pro to downloading and buying a game, isn't it? Like, holy shit. Yeah, six, uh, it was King of Loon Game of the Year. Well deserved, indeed. I would love to get around to Baldur's Gate one day. It seems like the kind of game that would be, like, incredibly fun to play with a group. You know, you, you know, like, uh, people will do in the server. They get, like, where they come together to just play a shitload of Baldur's Gate 3. From what I've seen, it seems pretty darn tootin' fun. What's in there? Aha! Oh! Good things are in there. What you know, love me a good old... Oh! Hello! <laughs> I don't know why, but that, that little trap just gave me a little bit of a chuckle. It was so cheeky and kind of lame, but I kind of adored it. It's amazing... Uh, oh, I already read that. Oh yeah, also new game of uh, Dead Cells devs was Furries and Gore. You fucking what? That sounds utterly bizarre. Oh, 
Oh yeah. But yeah, yeah, you know, if uh Honestly after this year there's just been so many fucking bangers that I can't ever see it. I can't ever see it being uh I can't I can't see other games surpassing like what came what's came this year. It's been such a great fucking year, it's it's insane. No oh, other that big boy. Whoa. I mean, even for like boom shoots, like it's been an amazing year for boom shoots as well, to be honest. A lot of them I haven't played, like, um, like Incision and, uh, oh, what's the other one that's like Titanfall? I can't, I, the name escapes me. But, but yeah, that game seemed rough, but interesting enough. And oh boy, Forgive Me Father 2 came out in Early Access. I'm oh, very tempted to pick that up because I really, really love the first one. And the second one just seems to be even better in, all, in almost every conceivable way. So... Very, very excited to pick that up eventually. Crazy how they put out, like, a second game so quickly. But I guess it kind of makes sense when they're putting it in early access and all that, doesn't it? <clears throat> Serious Sam 4 cannon is a beaut, a sucker for the fancy engravings on the guns, yeah. Yeah, especially with, with like, the... the oxidized copper and stuff like that all over it. How it looks ancient and, like, worn. But still, like, a really powerful fucking monster of a weapon. And the way it just jibs, like, even huge-ass enemies like the Biomechanoids and the Canums is just... Fucking wonderful. What a fucking dodge and a half. Bloody hell, my ears have been fucking incredible today. Look at that. Imagine saying that without contact. My ears have been incredible today. That's inc that, that's that's a kind of quote that uh, would confuse many people. Not many like Joe's. Come on, we're getting cover from the big boy over there. They're shivering down your spines. There's a whole bunch of them there. A whole fucking bunch of them, mate. Oh yes. Very Grand Cathedral vibes from, uh, from the snow levels coming up. Like, since we're, since the last three levels are now, we're going to be snow-themed. Kind of reminded me of the last episode in, uh, the second encounter. Which is a good thing to be compared with. And the fudge did I get up there? Ah. All right, all right, all right. Still some enemies ro roaming around the place. Somewhere. Ah, I see them now. Hey, yoink. Yeah, I took them clean out. Good old homing rocket launcher. Can't go wrong. Masterworks all, can't go wrong. Loads of good beam shoots, yeah. Uh, especially, like, my personal favourite, obviously, being the full release of Turbo Overkill. Oh, man. Game's a fucking masterpiece, that is. Absolute bloody masterpiece. Whoa! And even though it's, like, it probably wouldn't count for, uh, like, a game in, like, Game of the Year and stuff like that. But, uh, Quake 2, the Quake 2 remaster, holy... 
Holy shite. It was so damn good. Sp particularly the, uh... Now this is what I call a gun. Particularly the Call of the Machine campaign. Like, holy crap. I wouldn't have thought I would consider something to be like, you know, an expansion to be better than its base game, but... My word, uh, somehow... Somehow, uh... Pull the Machine does it, in my opinion. And I'm saying that as someone who loves the base game for, uh... Absolutely loves the base game for, um... Quake 2. We need to consider the Call of the Machine to be a masterpiece. My god, it's. It's just so fucking good. There you are. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. Oh, that was health, okay. Honestly, it looks like a. Uh, a sniper from. Uh, from Glance. Oh, man. That's not what I want. Ah. A little bit too short there. Now I'll finish you off nicely. Hee hee hee. Hello big boys. Meow. Ow. Oh shite. Okay, now they're like moving in just the right way so I don't get all of them at once. I know, three cannons for, uh, three cannonballs, three biomechanoids. Let's just say we got them all, like, one each at a time. I'm sure that will, uh, repair my fragile ego somehow. Oh, yeah. Red Templar, Ill Will, Horat, Herald of ha Havoc, Pang 2, Spr Sprawl, that's the one, thank you, that's the one I'm thinking of. Sprawl, Iron Fury Aftershock has been more than, than you realise, yeah, it's, it's, it's insane, it's absurd how much good stuff there's been. Guess even Bolt Gun deserves a mention despite its flaws. <laughs> I am one of those Bolt Gun enjoyers, I'm sorry to say. But yes, I do believe Bolgan certainly uh, deserves a spot as well. In my personal onion. Fuck that, I'm going in here first. Feels like I'm gonna go over there at some point. Maybe there's like a key down there or something. Or something. Oh, hello. Yeah, I saw you, you sneaky. Oh man, Dread, Dread Templar, like... I, I, I still feel like that's a game that... kind of struggles to have its own identity. Like, it kind of takes... a lot of derivative elements from a whole bunch of other games, but... it more than makes up for it by, with the gameplay just being fucking great. And of course you have the uh, episode 2 and episode um, 3. Was 3 the one, the Egyptian theme one? I'm pretty sure it was. Fairly certain it was. Yeah, those two episodes were just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And of course the upgradable Uzis turning into uh, miniguns. That, 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 was, that was amazing. Oh, there's gonna be a whole bunch of baddies around there, ain't there? Oh no, it's ice physics. Oh dear. Hello. Probably should have t taken a uh, taken notice of my ammo over there for the lazy gun. That's on me. That's my fault. Look at that. Oh, 
Right, I know exactly what I'm using. I'm getting so much use out of this grenade launcher in this campaign. That's not what I wanted, but oh well, never mind. Then again, I'm probably better off I do use it in case I... In case I get a serious case of too good to use items. You know, happens, happens to the best of us, doesn't it? The power of bridge doesn't last for very long. Even when I have it, I still have this this desire to try and avoid everything, even though I don't need to. You know, I probably don't have to. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, I do. I do remember I did get the dual welding. Pretty sure I got the heavy dual one as well. Yay! I do. Nice. Hello. Yoink. Not really a secret, it's just around the mountain. Even though you had a fair few issues with it, you hope they take the opportunity to fix so it does in the sequel. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Without a doubt, that that bolt gun is a even if a lot even if some people didn't like love the game. There's no denying that it's like an incredible foundation for something even better. And what we got was already pretty darn good in my opinion. Pew. I can also make pew pew sounds. I'm an expert in lasers. I'll have you know. There's a snack. That's a sound I know anywhere. Oh my god, it's so loud. <laughs> well, hopefully this isn't too loud for the stream, at least, I hope. Because this is... This is quite an incredible experience on my, uh... On my end, I'll have you know. Uh, you know what? Actually, even better. Lovely job, Lee. Oh, that was amazing. Ah, oh, more games need like dual world. Not enough has it. Not enough have it. It always, always feels so cool when you can just pull out like two big guns and just maul all sorts of face with it. Okay, so I guess we just had to investigate this area. There's no key or anything. It's just... Hey, in investigate the thing, I guess. <laughs> Fair enough, I'm not going to argue with that, but... Uh... It's a serious sound game, you don't really need much uh, incentive, do you? Wunderbar. Absolutely lovely. And the pirate ship level, yeah, with the, the, the track Dead Man's Jig. Which is a bloody brilliant track. 
Like, I, I think Dead Man's Jig and As Time Burns Away are my favourite tracks in the game. They're so good. Oh, I get the feeling there's going to be some major ice physics shenanigans. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it coming in the air of night. Like good old Phil Collins always said. A lot of people shit on his music, but honestly, I, f I, I feel like, uh, yeah, some banger songs, like Easy Lover. And then there's also a bunch of the tracks he did for Tarzan as well, which were pretty great. That's also a piece. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, tidy. Apparently I can't aim for shit all of a sudden. I'll get to you in a minute, Mr. Hammer Chopper. Actually, it might be a good idea to get to you now. There we go, lovely. Ah, oh, shite. <laughs> Probably not the most practical way of doing it, but it's certainly one of the most fun ways of doing that. I also forget how fast those little micro missiles are. They're way faster than I always expect. I don't want to harp these bloody whittling me down. No way. Not gonna happen. Also, thank you for the. Oh, for the Nommy House. Wow. Right. Holy shit, they're getting pushed <laughs> way the fuck back. Oof, okay. Oh dear. Come on, that's two shots in the head. Absolute nonsense, that. That's just... That's just like barely hitting him in the shoulder or some... Well, him. I say sh I say him. The uh -huh. Right, give me some of that, please. Thank you. You, big boy. Stay there for a second, yeah? Bam. Whee. Tidy. John S. Weekly is a fantastic composer. Hope to, uh, hear him and more stuff, yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Apparently he's been, like, composing for a whole bunch of other stuff, but, like, not many people really knew about him until Dread Templar. And Dread Templar is not a... it's not a super well-known game, you know, it's not, like... It's not, like, considered the most beloved of the boomer shooters, according to the community, at least. You know, I think it's great. But it's funny how, like... How... Even just like a small game project can really blow up somebody else's career like that. Just having like a really great soundtrack can do so much for, for a game. It really can. 
Like, for instance, Forgive Me Father, that game has a fucking banger soundtrack. Hello? Oh, I know what you are. Oh, how do we get in there, though? I feel like the key's probably up, up there, but we need to find a way to get up there somehow. Oh, pardon me. Some, somehow. Hmm. Oh. I can't jump on you. Oh, come on. Surely there's got to be some other way up there. No, I can't even blow it up. Mary is invincible. Or it could be Mother Teresa. I don't know. Who knows? I don't. We Come on, surely that, that... Surely that jump has to be enough. No, it's not, apparently. Ah. Serious damage has been spawned. I'm not gonna argue with that. Well, I guess we're gonna have to just leave the serious bomb behind, otherwise I'm gonna be here forever. That's a big surge. Yeah, regarding Blade, no... Really not sure how to feel about that, given that 70% of the original Arcane team is gone by now. I find it difficult to be optimistic about the studio's future. I wouldn't be surprised if it... If Blade does well, I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of get turned into a... A licensed studio, like a licensed game studio. Honestly. It kind of, feel, it kind of feels like it, it might be heading in that direction, but I could be wrong. But yeah, it does, it does really suck that Arcane just went tits up all over Redfall. Which I will still say, you know, the idea of like a semi-open world sort of vampire uh, shooter with some immersive sim stuff, that's a great idea, but oh my god, what the fucking hell happened to that game? I mean, it doesn't even fit fit the immersive sim adjective, you know, because there's it's really just a looter shooter, which is not not really what Arcane's about. It's not really what what they excel at. And honestly, I'll, I'll be honest with you. It's probably like a hot take, but I always find that like games with like looter shooter stuff often like kind of ruins the gameplay in my opinion. Like I've been seeing people say like you know Fallout, holy shit, that Fallout should be like a looter shooter, but oh lord no! <laughs> right, no, I can't even focus on them. Like, no, that, 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 that would be a great idea if Fallout 4 was good and actually had some interesting things going on with it, but, uh, uh no? <laughs> That's kind of like the one thing that I sort of, when I started out playing Cyberpunk, one of the things that kind of turned me off from that game when I first started playing it was the, the looter shooter stuff. It's like, hey, you know, you leveled up, you know, let's change out this uh, gun you've really come to like with something you don't particularly enjoy just because the numbers are constantly changing. And and that's just... That's just naff, man. Like, I kind of wish there was... I really hope there's, like, a mod for Cyberpunk where you can just sort of sort of do a bit more like, say, System Shock, where you can use, like, the same pistol that you've been using from the very beginning of the game, that you just upgrade over time. Like, I feel, I feel if Cyberpunk did that, that would be fucking perfect. 
because they're constantly changing out the loot for the same gun that's just slightly more powerful or a slightly different gun that I don't like just because the n numbers are bigger it's just dumb now not even not even Borderlands not even Borderlands does it entirely right now that that's saying something considering it's it's Borderlands Borderlands is well it can be decent, but sometimes it's called boredom lands for a reason. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well, that's for the serious bomb. There we go. There's Captain Planet. I'm in, I'm in, a, I'm in a bit of a bit of a fit as always. I'm say, never say it's not the best weapon on. Biomax. Better off just using the rocket launcher. Better off just using the rocket launcher, it's just better, you know? Kaboom. Make short work of Captain Planet there as well. Uh, something else spawn. Oh, was it these? Probably these. Really seems immersive sims are destined to be a niche genre doomed by bad marketing and poor sales, but if they went mainstream, it could end up removing the elements that make them fun and interesting challenge. It's one of those cases of... Oh my god, ooh. You came a bit faster than I thought you would, that's what she said. But yeah, it does feel like it's gonna. It's one of those things where maybe it is better off just sort of remaining a more niche thing with a smaller audience. The problem is, is that a lot of it kind of making an immersive sim uh, type of game is it takes a hell of a lot of hell of a lot of manpower to do. And they are they're often very expensive. Because you're making like designing so many systems and like so many things to make sure everything everything can kind of like blend together together perfectly. It's not an easy genre to do. Well, genre, I say genre, it's not not really a genre now, is it? There's a whole bunch of, like, things where even, like, um, even Bowl's Gate is considered, like, immersive simish and all that. Things like Streets of Rogue. Which is very, very immersive simmy, despite not being a first-person game. Away. Oh man, it feels so good when you can, when you can hit him right in the noggin. Let's try that no scoping. That's not the not the best idea in the world. Not the smartest idea. Bam. Oh, you really blend in over there, don't you? Oh, lads. Well, might as well finish finish uh, the job off like this then, won't we? Holy shit! Okay, I think serious damage actually does quad damage. I think it actually is literal quad damage. Holy shit! <laughs> Oh, aren't you adorable? There's another nasty knocking about the place and I can't find them. And this is about to wear off. And that's going to make me upset. Oh, there you are. 
sneaky boy, hiding and hiding up on the mountain. Still something else. Still something else knocking about. But yeah, I, it really is just one of those genres where. Well, yeah, there we go, calling it a genre again. <laughs> For the sake of brevity, let's just call it a genre, yeah? It's just one of those things where it's... It's gonna be seen as a niche thing, and no matter what people try, it's not gonna be super popular. Under any circumstances. Because it seems like the vast majority of players, especially nowadays with Zoomers and whatnot, they kind of prefer, uh... Prefer, um... Something that's a bit more... Dare I say, simple. You know, the idea of uh, a gaming experience to exercise your your brain in all sorts of stuff like that, the game systems and whatnot, just doesn't seem appealing to a lot of people, unfortunately. And it's probably why puzzle games is also are also uh, kind of a niche, more a niche thing now as time goes on. Because, you know, a lot of players just can't be asked to engage their brain, they just kind of want to switch it off and just play, play a mindless shooter, you know? Now, it's funny when, when I say that, like, mindless shooter, and then, like, a lot of people kind of consider a game like this to be mindless. But it's like, a lot of people don't really get that there's a lot of thought that goes into playing a game like this on higher difficulties. Like, sure, you can just turn it down to tourist mode and, like, just breeze through it, like, easy peasy, and no, no challenge whatsoever. You can definitely do that. But, um... Wait, what's, why is my thing not popping up over there? Oh, great. Oh, that's not, not X. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of like there's a lot that goes into a game like this when you play on high difficulties. You need to like know what enemies to prioritize. You need to know what guns you need to use to uh, make quick work of the job. You need to uh, have basically 360 degrees awareness, which. I struggle with sometimes still. You need to like ju juggle a whole bunch of different weapons. And even like trying to figure out the secrets takes uh, quite a bit of brain juice to get done. It, it's. It really is kind of a smart game. As dumb and silly as this series can be, it's a very, very smart series. It's a lot smarter than people give it credit for. Come from all sides, I guess. Look at that, they're coming out. They're coming around everywhere. Uh Watch it. Okay. Yeah, can't kind of just focus on the bony boys now. Nice. Oh, well, where, where are they going? I think they forgot where the party is. That's okay, though. I'll let them know. I'll let them know. No, oh, hello. Sorry, did I interrupt something? Holy shit, yeah, these ones are way bigger than the other ones. I never noticed that. They're way bigger. Insert sexual joke here. Huh. 
Man, this map just really loves me using the grenade launcher. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining because it's a fun grenade launcher. Grenade launchers is like one of those guns where uh, either they're absolutely incredible and brilliant and I love the crap out of them or they are some of the most finicky and very hard to use weapons in, in the world. Luckily this one's in the former. But my god, like when I when, when we watch you play uh, Perseus Mandate Reptiloid. Oh my god, I completely forgot how utter shit that uh, that grenade launcher was. I was like, I remember this being really bad, but holy crap, was it was it always that bad? I was just sitting there like, Jesus fucking Christ. Like I actually couldn't couldn't believe my eyes when I when I saw when I saw it because I feel like I just blocked that out of my memory. What a shit show Perseus Mandate is. <laughs> That's like probably I know that sounds so mean, and Timegate probably did like the very very best they could with very limited like resources and, and time but oh my god it's just it's just awful oh shit Oh shit, scan me out here and bloody open the field. I think not. Oh, I'm gonna have to make this one count, won't I? Oh, beautiful. Oh, apparently I missed you. Never mind. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Nade launchers can be very hit or miss, yes, like the fucking awful one in Perseus Mandate. <laughs> Same brain right there. Oh man, that thing was such a shit show. Oh, man, that, that whole expansion was a fucking shit show. Oh, what could have been? And, and, and what's worse is it's the kind of shit show that goes on for far too fucking long. That's what I loved about um, Extraction Point, is it was all killer no filler. It kept all the good shit coming. And then just ended when it needed to, you know? It felt like a great extension to the base game and the base game was already oh, phenomenal. Oh, hello! Defeat the Mighty Knight. Meet the, uh... It's like a Dark Souls Knight, innit? This is like the Marauder of Serious Sam. Because it was literally, like, added in a, uh... In a, in a joke, like, secret in Siberian Mayhem. And got ported into, the, into just Serious Sam 4. And I remember vividly that the knife is, like, the best weapon against them. He's not very good at hitting you, but... When he does, holy shit, he hits hard. Medical term, like when you're gonna have surgery to remove an anal wart with a dull bread knife. <laughs> Excuse me. Using anesthetic, the doctor is giving you a Perseus mandate procedure. <laughs> for some reason, I thought that was like, that was Powell for a second there. Uh, I was just there like, hello. That's like a very powerful thing to say.
Man, I love this cheesy, like, 90s action film music. Oh, God. You can go away. Ah, uh, I really wish I could use my, uh... Really wish I could use my... My laser gun. That's probably a bit overkill, actually. The anonymity of TTS, we can all be power wars. We are the PP Poo Poo Hive Mind. Exactly. Now that's cooking with gas. Oh yeah, since I was uh, talking about, um, like... When we were talking about, like, watching the boys wrapped the void on... Since I'm all caught up on that series now... And my god, what a fucking... Excellent series. Holy shit, it's so good. Uh, one of my one of my best friends, uh, IRL best friends, uh, said I should watch the the uh, the spin-off series Gen V, the one about like the school and whatnot. Which I'll be honest, like school setting, eh? Don't really like school settings, if I'm being honest with you. It's kind of like anime, when so many anime take place in school, and it's like... I don't give a shit about school, I left so long ago, please just stop taking me back. <laughs> but th that was pretty fun. That was a pretty good show. It was a lot better than I expected it, it was gonna be. Yeah, that was fun. And I'm very excited for uh, season 4, for whenever that comes, oh boy. Very excite. But I've also kind of gotten like really, really bored of like YouTube lately as well. Like just, just so many YouTube videos just, just... I like kind of like look through it, like my uh, recommended and stuff like that. And it's just so much shit I just don't want to watch or just don't care about. I'm just there like, oh, for fuck's sake, it's just... I'm not interested in any of this. So then I started saying, fuck it, let's just watch more series and, and stuff like that. So now, like, one of the next series I'm uh, considering watching is uh, Man, in the, uh, Man in the High Castle. The one about, uh... The one inspired by Philip K. Dix, uh, writing about the alternate reality of uh, Nazis uh, winning the war. Which is a... I've always found that to be an interesting uh, concept for like shows, games, films, and whatnot. I think that's why I, I really like Wolfenstein: The New Order so much because it gives you like a glimpse into that. So since I've been thinking about that game a bunch lately, especially after playing, finishing up um, Wolfenstein: The New Colossus recently. I've been kind of considering watching that. Because I've always heard people say that it's a pretty good show. Holy crap. There's like four whole seasons of it to watch through, and it's like, holy, oh boy, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff to enjoy here. And also, like, recently, like, either yesterday or just two days ago, after two whole years on Amazon Prime, they finally, finally made the final season of The Walking Dead actually, like, free to watch. Well, free, you know, you're paying, you're paying Prime. It's not exactly free now, is it? But it, you know what I mean. So, I can finally watch the final season of The Walking Dead, you know, uh... Even though the show's kind of been going downhill. Well, I, I, that's not really entirely fair. I, I do feel the... Like, they kind of really redeemed it at, like... From, like, seasons 8, I think it was? Or season season 9... Season 8 or 9 to 10. Like, they were pretty darn doing good. But yeah, knowing that, like, hearing that they proper rushed it to the end for the final season, just... Um, I'm not expecting anything too great. I think it's more more now. I just kind of want closure from that series. <laughs> because I think I'll be more interested in Fear the Walking Dead. 
Because once Fear the Walking Dead got to uh, season four, it, it was genuinely a fucking great show. It's just the first three se seasons were just... <laughs> Honestly, they were kind of terrible. I've got to be honest. I watched through them. I stomached it. Kind of rolled my eyes uh, most of the time, like, oh, God, it's so boring. So I'm hoping, uh, because I'm, I uh, start watching around about season, season seven. Not stop watching it, but more like took a break off that series. So I'm kind of probably going to go back to that after, fin after finishing uh, final season of The Walking Dead. But I feel like, apart from Fear the Walking Dead, I don't think I'm going to watch the other, se other series. -es. I might watch the one with Daryl. You know, going to France for some unknown fucking reason. No idea why he's going there. Well, I do know why he's going there. I do know, but it's like... You know, after so many years of being in the zombie apocalypse, why go chasing after, after that? That's just how the world is now. <laughs> just it doesn't make much sense to me, you know? As far as I know, it has, it's not canon to the original comic book. Unless it, unless it is, uh, I, I don't really know. <laughs> don't really know what... Um, Guy something media is, you know, the original publishers of the Walking Dead comic. I don't know what they said about it. They publish uh, Invincible, though. And I was so sad uh, hearing that they uh, pushing the, the second part of season two of Invincible until 2024, which made me sad. Genuinely a little bit, little bit upset about that, but... Yeah, I'll be excited to see that when that comes. So done with The Walking Dead, honestly. Negan is like the only reason you kept watching. Also, could never stand Carol as a character, and the last few seasons definitely didn't help in that regard. Yeah. Negan, like Jeffrey Dean Morgan, holy shit, he, he fucking killed. Killed it as Negan. He was like objectively the best character. Hands down, there's no competition. It, it, it's so. Whenever he's on screen, you know it's going to be a good time. Yeah, I do, I do think that, like... I think it's kind of interesting that they kind of that they made Carol from, like, a, a fairly, you know, damsel in distress type of character to a badass. Which I'm honestly in favour of that. I do think that's some pretty cool character development, but it's more like less of a badass and she's more of a Mary Sue, you know, can... You know, it's like the show treats her like she can do no wrong, no matter what ridiculous stupid shit she does. Which is just not very interesting. You know, more people like holding her accountable to her bullshit would be... would make a lot of that far better, but they just never do, so... It's just, hey, you know, Carol being a badass as always. That's how we love it. When it, it's just not as interesting as... It's not as interesting as being a flawed badass where people hold their ac them accountable to their actions. Really, a real shame. Oh yeah, Skull and Bones got a release date. You're sure that'll be a smooth launch without any problems? Definitely won't be a train wreck. I can guarantee you it's going to get pushed back again. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if they just like suddenly turned around and said, Oh yeah, Skull and Bones is cancelled now. And what the fuck did I just walk in on? <laughs> Hello? Okay. 
<laughs> There's not even a net here. Hello. Can I ride on side? I get. Can I? Can I ride around on top of you, please? No, 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 I almost did. I almost did. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, lovely. Nice. It's like whenever you used to play like the old GTA games and you used to ride on top of the cars and just have a little, a little ride around the city. Used to do that all the time in Vice City. That's kind of, kind of cool though. The music's pretty chill as well. I like the music. Just hope it's not copyrighted. If so, oof. I think they are, yeah. I think they are actually the Pac-Man ghosts. <laughs> yeah, she keeps on making really dumb decisions and putting others in danger yet never seems to face any consequences for it. Yeah. <laughs> Finished the pixel tennis match. Nice, we got the Roblox oof. <laughs> Wonderful pixel tennis. Whoa! Nom 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 What? What the fuck happened there? This has been a fun little secret though. I like this. I like it when map makers and developers just do put something silly in their game or their creation and just let the player enjoy it. Roblox. <laughs> Isn't it crazy knowing that I used to I actually used to play Roblox like years and years ago back in school and whatnot. Me and my little brother used to play it so goddamn much. You used to join all sorts of like little games and servers and and whatnot, and it, it was just it was just a great time. Nowadays, I don't think I would ever play Roblox again, especially after like all sorts of shit about you know child literal literal child labour and whatnot coming out of it. So it's like. <laughs> hey Takeshi. Push you and then just touch you so you can get your satisfaction. If you're consenting. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Yeah, I hope you're doing well, my friend. Hopefully finishing up the serious Samuel today. That, la that previous level was a bit of a long one, so uh, I'm expecting like a three hour stream or something like that. So it might, might be a bit of a longer one than I anticipate, but I am committed. I am committed. Oh great, they got a cryo in them as well. Boom! Nice. Don't really want to get pushed downhill, no thank you. That's not good for my health. Oh, chunky. I've also noticed something as well. These snow levels, they run so much better than the previous ones. I've not been complaining about that lately. Holy really shit. It's like Christmas came early. Pretty happy with that. All good, that's good to hear, Van. As usual, you know how it is around here. Sometimes a little bit energetic, but mostly just chill. 
some chill Samuel goodness. This is a cool track though, I like that. Very atmospheric. Kind of has Witcher vibes to it. What's in there? Aha! Uh -huh. Oi. Yeah, there's gonna be some up the up top as well. Bulls down below. That down below. Bulls up above. As above, so below. Probably not the best idea to use that on a sniper, but I'll run man. Oh no no no! Wait, was it or was it like? So, like, so above as below, or is it as above, so below? I can't remember! I don't even know where that bloody quote originates from, it's just kind of a cool... a cool saying, of anything. I only really know about it just because, uh... Just because it's, um... Mentioned in Dusk. Good old Dusk. Oh, 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 thank you. Yeah, boy. Do a little bit of that. Don't mind. Yeah, I saw you coming down, big stuff. There's a bloody sniper around somewhere and all. Hey, you can wait a sec. Well, not snipers, but you know. Lovely jubbly. Right, I guess we should get a bit busy with you then, shall we? Oh, there's some big things coming. Oh, that's a lot of pumpkins. That's a lot of that's a lot of big boys as well. Oh, is it only two? No. It, well, maybe. Yom. Whoa, he's going kind of mental. I love it when games have silly bugs like that. Never gets old. Yom. Makes you wonder where he's going to go go next. Away. No. Oh. The adventure hasn't quite come to an end just yet. I do love how like they they brought they brought this model in into this game, but it's still like his really old crusty model in HD from like 2009, I think. 2009, 2010. Like it looks so so much crustier than everyone else. I kind of love that. Yum. I'm a bit low on shotgun shells there, aren't I? Got a bit of energy, a bit of cannonballs, a bit of grenades. Got a little bit of everything there. Can't complain too much. Oh yeah, didn't I get like the laser gun stuff in a secret? It, 
Isn't I? Question mark? Oh great, I actually don't know. I don't have a clue. Finally, some sci-fi mumbo jumbo. Good old sci-fi mumbo jumbo. Uh probably don't need it for these. Into whoa, that buddy. Wow. Oh, you fucking sack of shit. That was fucking sneaky, game. That was proper cheeky. That's proper cheeks. Mega sandy cheeks. Oh dear, that's, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. I think I need a little bit more. Whoa! Hello there, buddy. Oh my goodness, whoa! Right, okay, um... Yeah, having a bit of that, don't, don't mind me. Having a little bit of that as well, that'd be nice, thank you. Wunderbar. Just barely see that effect. Right. Oh, that's a whole bunch of them. Hello, Captain Planet. Oh, hello. You'll go down easy. Yep, just like I said. Can't quite get him in the noggin. Mr. Smoko, <laughs> I'm here with your front robber. Hello there, Richard. How you doing, buddy? I see you found you uh, made yourself a uh, a shit post account there. <laughs> That's a good name for it. I don't know exactly who that is. Uh, right. Reload that bad boy. And that one. Who? <laughs> sure it is not. <laughs> That's very sus. That's very sussy wussy right there. Very susk. Hello there. Bam. We're always in the noggin. Let's see if that can actually get to me from that far away. Oh, it can. I have way more range than I expect. Yep, 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 go on. Thank you very much. Uh, 
Now that was quick and tidy. Ah yes, yeah, the good old Doom Guy butt jiggle there. That's always one of my favourite emotes. Oi, oi, thank you. Make the most <laughs> let's make the best use of this. Just rush in head first. Well, already ran out. Oh, it would have been very handy on you guys. Alas, I'm too slow. Yeah, yeah. Let's have more snowy castles in video games. That would be great. Still remember back in the day when I was just a wee lad. Boot up my old little beige box PC. One day my dad came home. It was a return to Castle Wolfenstein. I saw you spawn. Cheeky sausages. It was a return to Castle Wolfenstein. And oh boy. What a cool game that was. Seriously overrated. Hi, Chewie. That, that, that's a very you comment, that is. How are you two doing? How are you two doing, that is? Fucking hell, so like, even, the bloody, even the bloody players are like struggling on this little hill there. Oh, great. Ow. Nah. A little bit of pew pew never hurt anyone. Really, yes, I'm the e Sims player. <laughs> oh, use. Oh, they dropped a whole bunch of ammo around there, didn't they? Uh, no, I don't want that yet. Uh, no, I don't want that. Oh, I can have that one, though. If you don't mind. There's the Witcher style music again. So. Oh, I know what that is. Um. Um. Where I just heard my cat jump off my bed there. Like a very distinctive sound. And there's no cat there. There's ghosts all along. Yum. Just can't imagine walking up this every fucking day. Right. Bloody hell, your heads are so tiny. Oh, hello. Ah, 
Oh, come on, that was, that was a headshot. Coming rather tidy. There you are, behind the trees. Thought they were going to be a bit more of a nightmare, they were. Usually in an open area, those enemies are fucking terrifying. Yon. I swear there was health up here as well. Yes, there was. Yeah, we can go now. I want some of that tasty mech action. If I want mech action, I'll probably just play on the core. Yum. I need to do my second playthrough of that I do. That's not yet. I need to do my next playthrough of Cyberpunk first. So then I can become a Night City. Finally, my dream come true. Hello. Now you're all in big, big trouble. Get in the mech, Shinji. Oh, these are the chainsaw ones. Oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> oh god, it's the big boys again. I don't know why it's like a weird... Oh, this has to be like a weird purple pride meme thing. It has to be like a big man Tyrone meme. Just having a lot of these big purple guys everywhere. Oh, lovely. This is a fucking mess and I wouldn't have anything less. <laughs> oh my god, the frames. Oh! Uh, maybe a dead one. Because he 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 loves killing aliens, but you know he's got to get lonely every now and then. I mean, with the amount of things that's happened to his ex-wives, you know, the shame will happen to them. You know, I'm sure he gets a bit lonely every now and then. He's got to relieve himself somehow. Oh god. My chainsaw is bigger than yours. My chainsaw is absolutely mahusa, lad. I feel like there'll be something in there. I guess not. Oh, you're going to be a pain in the ass to hit. I've only got this thing can jump so I can just swat him out of the air with the bloody chainsaw. That'd be great. That's what I'm like doing it. Get right underneath them so you just can't miss. Yep, 
pretty good. Oh, that's going to be a lot of swatting out of the air that way. Nice. I finally get my wish. It's like when a really annoying mosquito just won't leave you alone. A little midgy during the summertime. Come here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is messy. This is probably melting my neck like crazy, but it's fun. I do not care. Yo, holy shit! Oh, we've got the kick-ass music as well. Nice. Oh, this is happy. This is my happy place. He thought you were <laughs> <laughs> you being cursed and you know, hit you with the maybe a dead one. <laughs> now I've got to keep my cursed levels up somehow. That's just how it is around here, you know. Holy shit, what was that? What was that? Oh, okay, he's got some new attacks. I'm running pretty darn low on armor, though. Been thoroughly one-upped. <laughs> I promise you, I'm, I'm not. I'm not that witty. I'm just. I just say some whatever comes to mind. I have the wit duller than a washboard. Lovely. Oh. Oh, I was hoping we could get another boost in. But every party's got to end sometime. Big Sarge. That was food. Don't need that, so I'm not going to go yet. I'm probably only alone on Devastator shells and cannon now. I'm like basically golden on everything. Look at all those green bars. That's a lot. Here we are. Hello. Hello. What a cheeky, isn't it? No shells. Never mind. Never you mind. I love when those trees turn into cardboard cutouts. Next disc gen graphics. More next gen than Egg Wife. Now that game, that that game is what I truly define as next gen. Nothing comes even close. Hello. Yo. Hello. That was a load of sudden rumbling. I'm not even hungry. Yet. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not want.
How on earth did I miss every single laser on you? That was a shite one, that was, lad. That was a shit one, Granite. Makes you wonder what Wallace, what, what Wallace would be like if he was like a proper true gamer. I wonder what it would be like if he gets mad when he's raging at a game. Oh, fucking hell, lad. Where's my cheese? This one's a great. Timeless classics, one might say. That appears uh, to be a pair of keys. Oh. You ass. Holy shit. A little close to close to comfort. Bloody hell, that like really ambushing me there. I ain't complaining. That's some scary fun right there. Not complaining complaining at all. Thank you. Ow. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Yeah, now I can focus on you. Didn't want to. Didn't want you in my face. Wee. <laughs> I don't know what is up with the physics in this game, but I love it. Gloriously goofy. Hang on. Need anything now? Some snipper rifle. Yeah, that should be good. Should be all golden, hunky dory. Oh yeah, I was talking about like snubby castles in games. Talking about how I, uh, how my dad picked up Return to Castle Wolfenstein all those years ago to play on my old, like beige box PC back in like, oh, sometime in primary school. I've never beaten that game. There are times where I've gotten like really far through it, but I've just never actually managed to sit down and beat it. I feel like that's that, that's like one of those games I have to finally do. Because I, I love Wolfenstein the New Order. Really like Wolfenstein the New Colossus, so I've got gotta do it. I've gotta do it. Add that to my little gaming bucket list. Might even stream that, maybe sometime during next year. Might not be the worst idea in the world, to be honest. Seems like a pretty fun idea. Whoa, how did, how did that mess? Another one up there. Didn't see you, buddy, but I did see you now. Oi. Flying around, he's having a he's having a whale of a time. There's going all over the place. It's 
Excuse me, are you British? Well, yes, sir, GB0, I am. You'd be very correct at that assumption. I am indeed from Britain land. How are you doing today? Hope you're well. Let's get some stuff up here. That'd be nice. Don't need don't need the helmet right now. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, being a British is a curse. It's how I'm born, unfortunately. It's a curse I have to deal with for the rest of my life. I can't escape it, but the least I can do is make the most of what I have. Somehow. See one at one back of there, you cheeky boy. Music's cool as hell. That's Sudi Miku does not talk to British people, <laughs> but you do. For a re for a second now, you got me thinking you were Hatsune Miku. God, that whole like uh, that was it the Domino's Pizza advert. Or was it, or was it Pizza Hut? I can't quite remember, but it was like a really, really funny advert that's like really awkward. And that old guy who has absolutely no idea what, what, what that, what Miku even is. And it's just some of the most funniest unintentional comedy in the world. Some more of that, please. Thank you very much. More Captain Planet. You know, Captain Planet worries me. Even in even in, in the cold, air, all, all he's wearing is undies, and he's like around children all the time. It's it make it makes you worry a little bit, you know. <laughs> Look at the rockets go. <laughs> they got him eventually. <laughs> I don't even know why I call them Captain Planet. I, I don't even know if Captain Planet looks anything like that. It's just been like a thing for uh, ever since I did the VR game. And the whole the whole meme's just stuck with me ever since. Kind of like the kind of like the pervert Nosferatu's. That's tidy. Very tidy. Hi, Flavia. Uh, Flavia Ra Rachel? Rachel? I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but hi. Hope you're doing well. Helicopter enemies hit scan, right? Not in this game, no. They were in three, but not in this one. They just shoot rockets in this one. Mind your asshole ish homing rockets, but. You know, pr pretty, uh. Pretty decent to deal with. They're, they're not too bad. Could probably do with more of that ammo there. Yeah, might as well go for that helmet as well. Pardon me. How's the day? Oh, today's been pretty good. 
I woke up pretty damn early because I only had like, f like, uh, like seven hours of sleep. Because uh, I, I ended up getting really tired around about 12 last night, my time. That was around the time where the Game Awards was happening. So I completely missed all of that, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I've been up pretty darn early. I'm not feeling too tired right now, which is pretty nice. So playing some Remnant in a bit should be pretty darn good there, Rectobob. Hello, big boy. Not again. Who's your daddy? What do you want? Uh oh. <laughs> oh shit. Well, let's tidy this up one up pretty quickly then. Yeah, we finally get to miss um, uh, meet Miss Reptiloid now. I can't believe it. It's finally happened. I don't think she'd be so big. I guess you're into Amazons. <laughs> yeah, Mika Chan is always fu it is funny always. Yeah, that advert never never gets old. Who's your daddy? Daddy pops up after a moment. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's actually uh, that's actually the mummy. Because uh, in the law, the uh, the female reptiloids are like mahusively bigger than the males. So I can't believe Sam is uh, is a digger and misgendered her. What a, what an absolute monster he is! <laughs> I'm joking, of course. You know we 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 don't we don't go into stuff like that. <laughs> Small anime short stacks or Amazonian mummies, no in between. <laughs> You say short stacks, but but you're not into Big Booba. Well, not not that all short stacks need to have that, but yeah, but you know, you get what I mean. Oh my God, whoa, that was some that was some crusty framage right there. Whoa, holy crap, that gets bad. Yeah, I think it's like looking like somewhere over here, it gets like... just kind of shits the bed a little bit. Uh, pop. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Oh, don't use that. Don't use this so close. So close to me. Jesus Christ. Oh, that thing has splash damage like a fucking monster it does. Finish up our business with the harpies there. You missed. Ooh. Yeah, I kind of finish you off like that. Why not? be the most practical way of doing it. Oh, we got plenty more stuff to spare. How lovely. Nice. 
Ugh. Oh, call that frame edge. Nice to say it, Illulu. Ah, yes, of course. That's very based opinion right there, Reptiloid. Very bastard. Looking out, out with no door. I have no door, and I must. I can't think of. I can't think of a good, uh, good way to finish that one. Oh, you. Bola. Holy crap. Absolute ninja. Those guys are like so quiet. So rare, rare I ever hear them coming, coming on to me. Not in that way, but you know, they might do. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit. That's a lot of screaming headless guys. Oh, that lovely. You stay there, buddy. I'll, I'll finish you off in a sec. Don't mind me. Eight balls, two years, get a turbo overkill, true, true game of the year. That, that, that's just flat out a yes, honestly. It's probably my game of the year. Unless there's like something else that uh, comes to mind. Maybe the System Shock remake? I don't know. Sure, I could be using more destructive weapons for this, but kind of want to save a bit of ammo, if I'm being honest. So a little bit of patience goes a long way. It's one thing I do have when it comes to games and my gameage. Ooh. I probably have way too much, way too much patience. It's your favourite type of enemies? Not yours, the Kamikaze. The Kamikaze is a very, very good pick. Nothing can beat the uh, the screaming, the screaming headless uh, blokes charging towards you. It's simple. It's effective. It's funny and terrifying. It's a real winner right there. Personally, uh, my favourite, I think my absolute favourite enemy have got to be the, the pumpkin head uh, Kerberitos. Because uh, again, like they're, they're so silly, but also in the right circumstances, they can be absolutely terrifying enemies. These guys, they look so goofy. <laughs> they're so low res. Oh. But I love them. They're great. Sometimes the simplest enemies, like, can often be the favourites. 
just reload that bad boy. Well, I could definitely do more shells. I use a shitload of those. Boy the boy, I just recommend live in case you want to raid him after. I will. I will. We're on the last level right now, so it shouldn't be too long. But yes, when I'm all finished up, I'll send everyone over to there. What's he playing, by the way? Uh, Nino Kuni. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't mind, don't mind watching a little bit of Nino Kuni before we do Remnant. That sounds like a good idea. Ah. Ooh. Really want to keep him in my view. Nice. That's a lot of pressure off me now. Okay. There's another one around, there you are. Just kind of ignore the vampires for now. The perfect Nosferatu's, they're not that much of a threat. Ah. It's incredible how much better I play this game when I just kind of shut up and concentrate. Makes me feel good, man. I'm not such a skillless gamer. I always think I am. We can do some incredible things when we put our minds to it. There's another wearable around. There you are. Boom. Pee hee. Mom, get the camera. No scope. That good old meme. One of Sam's screams almost sounds like Half-Life scientists pitch way down. <laughs> what, they're like the old... Bleh! What the... Oh! You know, as, as much as that, that game has aged poorly, the memes are timeless. Like, who can, who can forget Kuma's locker, locker in the locker room? <laughs> it's funny how that was like just meant to be a normal name, but like nowadays, as uh, as Kuma has become a meme, suddenly that's like one of the funniest things in the world. It just becomes like retroactively really, really funny. That's a lot of stuff. I don't get many cannonballs though, do ya? Stingy. Can't complain, they give me like everything else there. 
question is, how do I get up to you? I haven't even needed to use the gadgets very much, neither. Look. Nice. Like, always a last resort thing for me. Been feeling pretty good about playing well in Turbo, despite Boomer Reflexes. Which is why you shouldn't stream that. Honestly, if you did, you probably have to do like a difficulty under what you usually do. Because yeah, it's a game that, that requires so much focus. Like whenever I do calls with uh, IRL friends and we just talk and, uh, and I like boot up Turbo Overkill every now and then to like play the survival mode, I'm amazed I do as well as I actually do while like going into like deep discussions and whatnot. But like, that's one of those moments where I completely imp impress myself somehow. Ah, itch. Because it really is a game that it requires so much focus, it's unbelievable. Still worried you're gonna suck horribly at SS at first while uh, learning the ropes. Gonna be a struggle. It's gonna be a struggle to figure out how uh, to kite large groups, especially clears. Yeah, it's. I, I feel like the the later games, like three and four, like they giving you the sprint. It's like a nice little. Uh, it, it's a nice extra boost that honestly is not always necessary in the vast majority of cases but it can really help you get get out of a pinch especially when like you uh find yourself in like a kamikaze trap and whatnot being able to outrun them is a it's a real nice bonus and you don't have to deal with bullshit, bullshit stamina systems neither, so you can just sprint to your heart's desire, which I really, really like. No, you don't, you don't have fat space marine syndrome where, where you can only sprint for like five seconds before you need to, before you need to sit down and uh, have a burger before you can keep going. It's uh, something I appreciate very much. Uh, nah, I could just use rocket on you as well. Way. Phew, phew. Wonder where that one was coming from. It's just a fun ass series, isn't it? Oh, j just imagine if my dad never ever picked up the first encounter all those years ago from the old, from the old beige box PC. God, to think that the think the original game came out in 2001 of all of all times. It, it's really like. Kind of incredible, really. Uh, boof. Incredible how long game series can last. Uh, now nah, you know what. An explosive problem requires explosive results. You hate clears. <laughs> A lot of people do. I know I used to as a kid. Like when I when I actually got around to playing through uh, the first and second encounter proper seriously without like cheats and normal difficulty and stuff like that. Uh, I used to be like, baby me used to be like, oh my god, this game's so hard. I can't do it. But nowadays, I like, I'm I'm pretty happy to kind of like sit down with the game and just sort of. Plug away at it for hours and hours and hours until I finally uh, feel like I can really do something in it. 
That's always a satisfying feeling. Like, a lot of people don't like putting in the effort and the work and actually... ...properly learning something. But a lot of the time, that's kind of like a huge part of the fun. Actually... ...going through the process to get better at something. It's like when I played, uh... Whenever I play Apex with friends, it's like... At first I started out, like, really fucking shit. I have to, like, kind of, uh... Kind of considering seriously getting better at it and whatnot. I've gotten pretty decent. I've gotten pretty decent at that game. I still fumble. I still have difficulty... I still have, like, vis um, visibility issues with it. Like, I still find it hard to see certain things and whatnot, but... I've gotten a hell of a lot better than I used to. Ow. Got to get a bit cheeky with that, that didn't quite work out. It's foolish of me. Foolish. Foolish, I tell you. I, I hear you behind the trees, Blair. Good old tentacle. Tentacle copter. Space Marine. Space Marine 2 coming out soon. Oh boy. Can't wait. I might finally do a replay of the first game because it is it's a classic. I love I love the original Space Marine game. Love Sam 2 with the medallion stuff. Yeah, that was kind of fun. Second game gets a lot of shit, but honestly... It's way better than people give it credit for. It really is. I can't think of a single time this series has disappointed me, if I'm being honest with you. I know 4 disappointed a lot of people. And I kind of get it, but... And I guess 3 as well. But just in general, like, it's always, it's always done right by me. Like, whenever it comes to, uh... Games where I'm blowing up gigantic hordes of huge monsters. You can't go wrong with Serious Sam. And EDF, for that matter. EDF is also, uh... Perfect for that. Oh, oh my god, those frames! Holy... Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't get it with the, with the big rocket, like big, big head of enemies. I don't know why this is like such a common thing. It is it's just so weird. Robin's nightmare has been defeated. Hello. Oh, I can't kick you around. Uh. That looks like Johnny Turbo in a way, doesn't it? No, he's just oh he already disappeared. Can I put like a little metal plate at the top of his noggin? And boom, you got Johnny Turbo right there. God, this area runs like absolute dog shit. <laughs> oh, let's get the fudge out of here. Thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank God. Thank Lord on high. You to die multiple times on a single stage, even on tourist difficulty. I probably did too, as well, but like that's probably just me, like, fudging about all the time. Like jumping off like high ledges and uh, trying to go out of bounds and just kind of kill killing myself that way. 
or just playing around with like the the enemy multiplier just see how many enemies i can get until uh until i die or until my my uh my game crashed which is always a lot of fun Get rid of these first. Then we can focus on the Skelemans. Lovely job, mate. Well, there's a few more Skelemans, so I won't leave the snack alone for now, you know. Never mind, mate. But yeah, when it comes to like clears, like as long as you can kind of keep them at a distance with like the minigun and whatnot, they're really not that bad. In close range, and like with limited weaponry, like you know a super shot or something like that, that's when it can when they can get a bit tricky. But so long as you, uh... oh, so long as you can. Handle the clear shuffle. You'll be in. You'll be in the green. Lovely. Oh, <laughs> user gun just melts. Um. I'm going to leave a snack alone for a minute. Oh yeah, he's fired a bunch. Oh, it actually does go that far. Wow. Fucking hell, I thought I'd get some like a massive drop off or something, but no. Holy crap, auto shot is amazing. Love it. Also tonight, like before bed, I think I might uh I think I might finally get around to watching the the uh the second Blade Runner film. The one with Ryan Goslin. Gosling, I should say. Just because after watching uh Drive and rewatching the the first Blade Runner film. You know, I, w I really want to know what it feels like to be Ryan Goslin. I want to know what it's like to suffer. Ryan Gosling say like at one point like he he was he was like really into Warhammer. Like didn't he didn't he have like a whole Necron army and all that like actual like painted figures and stuff? Or was that Henry Cavill? I know Henry Cavill wants to get a uh, a Warhammer series uh, off the ground. I know that for a fact. Not sure if it's actually like in development or anything like that. That would be pretty rad. I wonder what they what they would do with that though. Like, would it be a more uh, like you know, would it be like the usual grim dark war type of setting? Like, would it be like a Horus Heresy series? Would it be like I don't know, like. The Grey Knights doing Grey Knight things. Because something tells me it'll probably be more something like, uh. More. I guess it's gonna be more about, like. You know, internal politics within, like, hive cities and stuff like that. That's kind of like the feeling I get. The hive cities are interesting as hell, so I, de I definitely wouldn't mind that. Like, there's like a whole book series that's literally all about like solving uh about um 
basically I guess you could say like the police force within the hive city like solving crimes investigating heresies and stuff like that I cannot for the life of me remember the name of the book series but I've had it recommended to me a fair few times and it sounds like a great time there's also the Eisenhorn series as well that I've heard very good things about Warhammer just has a really fucking cool universe. There's not really much out there like it. Well, there probably, probably is, but it's kind of the way that Warhammer carries itself. Like it, goes, it, goes, it goes raw, it doesn't give a fuck. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some like casual ogren, like ogren racism in there because uh, the usual, the usual uh, humans of the the empire of uh, empire of man are kind of like proper super racist against like ogrens and ratlings and and other uh, subspe subspecies of human. That kind of uh, evolved on other planets throughout, like, millennia. There's a lot of interesting, like, a lot of interesting stuff they could easily dive into. This is a fire and a half, isn't it? Oh yes, give it to me. Thank you. Oh, I'm getting some serious streamer bum right now, Jesus Christ. You know how it is. I'll get to, I'll get to chat in a second, I'm sure you can see there's a lot of things going on here. You! Fuck off. Oh man, ever since I started, like, perfecting my quick swapping and whatnot. Ah, oh, boy. Oh boy, I just can't go back. Can't go back to, like, using the mouse wheel to change weapons and stuff like that. It just feels so horrible nowadays. So inaccurate. I love how the other rocket will just like follow her around, it's great. Needs me to get cleared up a little bit. Oh boy.
I felt like a god during that. Felt like an absolute god. That's normal serious Sam moment. <laughs> Why is he not reading the latest chat messages? No, no, I get, I get to it eventually. Don't worry. It's uh very hard to read chat when there's a lot of things going on, and I try to uh, pause the game as little as I can. It's just how I am. I kind of like to keep things going as much as I can. Streams Riz concentrating. <laughs> yeah, I was. One more law in Hive Cities. Watch Lutin. Oh yeah, yeah. Lutin did an amazing video on on the Hive Cities. Fucking incredible video on it. He does some absolute banger videos on Warhammer lore. So good. Try playing in third person view. I I used to play like this uh, a bit during like the first encounter because I did used to do a little bit of deathmatch like years and years ago and I used to play like that because it's nice to have like a full view of everything but otherwise not really no I, I prefer the first person view it just feels feels better to me honestly always a uh, Warhammer versus XYZ and Warhammer always wins not too surprising now, is it? <laughs> true over in Giza. A day in the life of true over in Giza. Look at the size love, of that thing. love that video. It's so good. Oh man, this is some bloody deja vu, isn't it? If you know, you know. Hi. Oh god, there's these things as well. Well... Other enemies are miles away right now, I kind of have the time to spare. These things hit hard. Thank you. Oh, this is... This is dodgy. Right, right. Come on. Oh. Nice save. shot to the noggin is all it takes. If you can actually hit the noggin. Oh, hello. Oh god, yeah, they still struggle to... still struggle, they struggle to get to me on the ice. <laughs> oh lord. Holy, holy shit. Oh dear. Right. Did that not do anything? Well, oh no, was that bugged? Or did it just take its sweet time? I can't tank it. Really? Asshole. Trying to tank a little bit. Oh god, perfect Nosferatu, no. Oi.
Oh boy. Well, these harpies need to go away. Badly. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. <laughs> I'm being perfectly honest with you. This is way more punishing than it used to be. Tidy. Well, that was pretty hectic. Oh yeah, speaking of Warhammer as well, uh, the Rogue Trader game uh, came out like yesterday, didn't it? But that sort of um, uh, that sort of like more CRPG style game. And it seems like it's got some pretty darn good reviews. And that and that excites me quite a bit, honestly. Because I've been kind of um, really intrigued in that. Because I feel like the, the rogue traders don't really get much... Uh, much real representation in the games. They're more like thing in, uh, in like the law books and stuff like that. So it'd be kind of cool to see what, what they're all about in the game. Oh. Well, unfortunately I had to ruin my armor count there. I had a very nice ar armor score. Go on it. What time is that, actually? Okay, yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure we're, like, near the end of this level anyway. 20 minutes to spare? I think we've got plenty of time. Oi. Alright, calm your tits for a second. Calm down ta the Tartars. Oh god, sounds going so dodgy. Right, where do we even start here? Where do we even start with this mess? Go for these, the shield boys. Go, man, go away. Lovely job, Luke. Spookiest enemies. She can't handle them. So turn base is your uh, type. Oh yeah, you mentioned Rogue Trader. <laughs> Beat me to it there, there um, Emperor. Yeah, I felt like a god before. Not, not, not there though. Ice physics can uh, even gods need to worry about ice physics. It's very dangerous. You know, health and safety, you gotta watch out for it. Werebulls drift better than Ken Block. 
Yeah, he's been going for about an hour now, I think. Roughly. How Slipper got you doing DIY electrical work now? Oof. Sure, this will end well. Uh, do you have the qualifications for that, sir? Do you have a li do you, oi, oi, do you have a license for that? work of them, didn't it? Yeah, I've been... I've been considering whether to just wait for, like, House Flipper 2 or just kind of pick the first one up on sale, because... It is the kind of game that seems super cosy. Like, super fun to just kind of... make a house and stuff like that. It seems... it seems fun. It's kind of like... What if you took The Sims and took out The Sims part of it and just left the house creation stuff in? I feel like that's kind of a good way to explain House Flipper. And you know what? The Sims was already pretty fun. One of my favourite things to do in The Sims was always to make like weird house houses and whatnot like some proper like oh that just went barely over oh that was tragic Even the clears are struggling on the ice as well. I don't I don't think anyone uh, is in an envious position here, friend or foe. Everyone's in this great big mess and we're all just sharing it, sharing the pain. Whoa, <laughs> look at that little slide. He's so cool. Yeah, I've seen no complaints about uh, the audio, so I assume everything's all hunky dory. Like the game's not too quiet and no nothing's too loud. Because if so, then perfect. I'm happy with that. Because I, I, I complain about it before, but my god, doing getting audio right, it's such a fucking pain. Always fucking hate it. Oh Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. oh great, bloody witch brides here. You're just reveling in my pain now. Oh, I can't even bloody hit the bitch. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Fucking hell. 
Oh, and that's how my choppers and everything as well. Captain Planet. Ooh. Oh my god, just hit me every... Oh, hit me with every single one. Another Captain Planet. No more. A little bit brutal, I don't know. This is just on normal as well. Good God, imagine doing this on, on serious difficulty. That would be a fucking shit show. Absolute mess. Next thing it'll probably want you to do uh, the landlord special and paint over molding holes in the wall. <laughs> oh god, imagine that. Finally, you get you get to know the feeling of what it's like to be an absolute scumbag. Tourists on YouTube are plenty in case watch a uh, Electro Bloom. It'll make you laugh and learn. It's crazy just how much, uh, what kind of stuff people do for like tutorials nowadays. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a whole like tutorials about becoming a theoretical physicist at this point. Obviously the first lesson would be to uh, how to swing the crowbar. That's the most important lesson to know. Oh boy. Again. Not far now. Guarantee you there's going to be a big old boss fight in there and everything. I can feel it. I feel it in my bones. Loki like that, like that game. Yeah, House, Fl House Flipper looks really fun and cosy. I watched Dan's gaming play a fair bit of it. And and if you know anything about Dan's gaming, like, you know he's like perfect, but when it comes to uh, those kind of chill, comfy games, like that's just sort of his, his vibe. That's his jam. Okay. Why am I being enclosed in here? I, oh, right, that makes a lot of sense. All of a sudden, all of the sense is being made. Oh, what am I... I can get stuck in a little pillar, arsehole. Oh boy. Holy crap, where did you come from, Speedy? Where the fucking hell did you come from? Yeah, those big boys, they're going first, if you don't mind. Holy shit, that's so many particles. 
that's enough to make Noiter blush. That's so many. <laughs> that's so many. The hell did I hit her? Hello? Ah, the usual. The usual expected. Oh boy. Nice. Fucking hell, they get they move so quickly. But this game uh really thrown in all it has. This isn't even the base game. This is like a commu a community uh made campaign. <laughs> it was probably even by just literally one dude. Just making this in his own spare time. And holy shit, <laughs> it's really, really good. Really damn good. Some quality shit right here. There's a lot to mop up. We probably don't need everything. Yeah, I probably don't. Right. That should do it. Yeah, I think that's all good. That's gonna be a big old boss here. It's a chat 18 plus. Um, yeah. You know, you know, there's a fair bit of swearing and things like that, but it's not, you know, not all, not horny, like not, not. As long as it's within uh, the TOS, the Twitch TOS, so. Yeah, as long as you don't talk about stuff that won't get you banned, you're fine. And obviously following the, the stream rules as well. You know, the rules I put in. Other than that, you know, say uh, fucking shit to, uh, to your heart's desire. The comfy bean. He is. Comfy bean. The best bean, no less. Takashi is being a yas queen. Yas. What are we fighting against? Come on. Enough edging. Oh, it's these. Okay. Sorry. Did I wake you? Oh, 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 okay. Oh, that throws in a little bit of complication in the mix, then. Seems like there's some canoes inside the, this ice. Yup. Yes, there is. Oh god, ice. Ugh. Ooh. Kind of focus on her for the time being. Not you.
<laughs> oh dear. Oh, of course I bloody saved that. My infinite wisdom. Nice, that's one down. Pretty sure you're the one that has the least health. Oh no, wait, I've got to finish them off with bullets, yeah. Oh my god! There we go. Nah, I didn't quite do the job. Ow, ow. Oh, ice bugger off. Oh. I do like these bosses a lot though, these are really fun. Gotcha. Oh yeah, boy. That was great. Way harder than how you, how you usually fight them, because there were like some really like woof. <laughs> is it is it legal to stream naked harpy titties from Sirius Sam Three? Probably yes, because it's kind of just a part of the game itself. You know, it's kind of like Cyberpunk. You can have uh, you can have titties in that as well. So long as you're not being weird about it, you know. As long as you're not being hypersexual about it, I'm pretty sure Twitch is okay with that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's perfectly fine in three. I mean, in gameplay, you don't really see them anyway, to be honest. Because you often deal with the harpies from far away. Oh, hello. Why am I getting skill points? I swear this was like the end. Ah, sod it. Ah, just one off. One off. Oh. Maybe they intended to have more of that campaign? It is apparently the reworked version, so maybe there's still like one, like one or two more levels that I still need doing. But otherwise, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all of this done. All of these like levels, we've done basically all of them. The only one we didn't really do was serious spam, it, just because. It was so just utter lunacy that I feel like we kind of got the point within like the first two levels. And it kind of got a bit dull to play, I won't lie. Maybe it's one of those things where it's like when you play it with co-op, it will be really, really fun with like a whole group of people. But, uh, you know, it will be silly, just pure silliness. But otherwise, it's kind of like a, dr a drug induced nightmare. <laughs> So, fortunately I won't do that, but it is there, I guess. But yeah, it's like, this was really fun. Really chunky campaign, and I feel like not all of it is here. I feel like there's probably like another three levels or something. Like maybe in the works, but yeah, it is really good. And I think that'll do it. I think that'll do it for now. It was a wild ride, and after after serious sand month, hmm, what am I gonna do next?